Hey everybody, this is Marshall from The Hidden Levels, and we are checking out Star Nomad 2. And um, <clears throat> this is a roguelike if you want it to be, otherwise just sort of a uh, cool space game where it's got a thriving living environment the entire time. I'm going to pick, this is my portrait. Uh, I'm going to pick Merchant since that's what I know so far, so we can go trade. Uh, roguelike means if you die, you lose your ship, your modules, and cargo. Um, if you do this one, it's not as much. Uh, we'll do normal for this playthrough. Roguelike is what I played before, and I died many times and lost all my stuff. It is not hard to do. Um, I'm just going to build the system, and then we click and start our journey on this planet. So far, this is a neat little game. Uh, it's got some story. We grew up on Serenity. Uh, now we have to decide what we want to do, essentially. So, if we look in our cargo hold, we've got some weapons and some shields. Let's go ahead and put the weapons in their places. This is where you put your missiles, and this is where you put sort of a turret. And down here is where the modules go, and since this is a shield module, I believe... Oh, I'm sorry, I think it goes right there in the front one. It's an energy module. Okay. Now, one thing that we can buy that we know is needed nearby, usually, is uh, food. So, I would say that we go ahead and stock up completely to 40 on food. And let's get out of here. This is a little tutorial. Okay, so let's look. If we look at our map, there's going to be places that need food. Food shortages right here in New Hope. So we need to get there. To go there, we're going to have to go to Forge and then New Hope. So let's go to the top left corner there. This is a 2D, so you're just sort of flying around like this. You can press sh uh, Shift, and you will go into a boost mode. And your boost, you'll see over here, goes up and down right there on the side. And once you get here, you press J to jump once you're completely stopped. To the whole system. <laughs> Now, as a trader, you do have some weapons, but mostly you want to stay out of fights, from what I can tell so far. Um, I will say that fighting is fun, so there are times when you can sort of stick your nose in and grab some, some you know, bounties and stuff like that, but for the most part, as a trader, you want to get your goods safely from place to place until you can get a big fighter ship if you want. You can start with a hunter, and that's another way you can start bounty hunting right away, or a pirate, where you go pirate things right away. And I would like to try all of those, to be honest. So let's jump. This is the system that needs food, so this should help in terms of finances here. Let's hit our boosts, and you see up here on the little green dot in the mini-map, that's what we're right up there, that's where we're traveling to. It costs 500 to dock, and that's something you have to keep in mind. Uh, more if you're damaged, so you have to keep money on you, otherwise you can't land, and that becomes a problem. So see, 250 credits here, uh, probably because they know we're carrying food and we're on normal instead of the harder version. So we'll go to their market. See, they're paying 143 per food, so we get 87 profit per food, boosting us up to 5,700. That's a whole lot. Now the average on this stuff is 375. <coughs> So I think we're going to buy some of that, 10 of them, to take with us on our trip back the other way. You can look at their shipyard, you can look at what weapons they have available, different modules. We can't afford anything right now, so we're going to close it and leave. Okay, so they're still, I think, at a shortage of food, so we're going to go back. And you can zoom in and look at what your ship looks like, like a little bit closer. Zoom back out if you need to. And there is a finite wall there when you get to the edge of the the brig. So these are just squares. Um, it feels good enough that you're jumping from place to place. I mean, it's a neat idea. And for a top-down, I mean, I would like some controller support, but this seems fantastic so far. I've had a real good time flying around space, you know, doing various things. I'm going to go up here and see if they need these medical supplies at all. I guess I could check the map. Yeah, I mean, they're stable.
All right, perfect. So we make 82 profit per. It's not a bad day at the market. These are 175, 135, 150, 100. Let's just buy 40 of these. Yeah. We'll go ahead and jump to the next planet. And so now when we get back to this next planet, I'm guessing that soon you're going to start seeing some pirates. And that's where you'll see that my ship will auto-fire on some of them. You have to be careful about how that works because we want to be able to get in and dock and not be in combat. <coughs> there we go. Now we're in the proper zone. We're going again to that green dot, the planet Serenity. And we'll land. I did find that you keep your Ellipsium and your Cabinite through deaths, uh, even on the roguelike version. And those you can cash in for money or use to buy apparently high-end modules. Oh. And here we have a nice big pirate. We gotta get away from him because he will kill us. Like, really kill us. I'm lagging a little bit here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the game's crashing. Oh, no, I pressed. <laughs> can land. You just have to wait until the combat stops. I pressed the uh, spacebar that pauses the game. I forgot about that portion. Okay, so if we sell this, we get a profit of 10 per, so that'll be small payday. But we can get more food here. 19. It's still get us some good money when we go back. Essentially, you know, I feel like we're in pretty good shape in terms of repair. We're, we have to repair every time we land, so we have good money to do that. Uh, let's get out of here and go on back. We can also... There's another route. We go below to Liberty and then up to New Hope. And I think that's what I'm going to do this time and see if they have any food and Liberty for sale. So that's... You have options always. And you don't have to do this run more than once or twice, but it is a good way to... Uh, Get some money. <laughs> so we'll fly down to uh, Liberty. It's got a cool space, you know. I've been talking about uh, with a lot of the Hidden Levels crew, uh, Jean-Michel Jarre. All kinds of cool music that he does, and this has got a lot of that sort of soundtrack to it. I may have it turned down for you guys just a little too much, but it's really overpowering on any music when we stream uh, or do these videos. So, all right, they don't have any food. I could sell it there and make a profit. They have any really good prices? Nothing super. Um, Honestly, usually they have some stuff that's priced a little better. I'll buy some bikes. I'll buy ten bikes. These are uh, grab bikes. The kids love them. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, there's already pirates coming in right there as we were leaving. It's uh, pirates are a pretty common thing in this game. They're all over the place. So you do have to be prepared at times to fight your way out of a situation, but <clears throat> these little ships, you just get up and go. And away we go. I'd like to save up enough to buy a nice big ship uh, on stream here. We'll see if we can do that. We'll see if we can get to a new ship in 30 minutes. I'm not sure if we can, to be honest. I see pirates up there already. Never a good thing. Let's see, now here's one, however, that we could probably do a pretty good amount of damage to. 
We've got him locked. We've got missiles going at him. If we take too much damage, though, we need to get the heck out of here. on those bounties I just picked up, the two little bodies there. What ends up happening is I can uh, trade them in right here on this button. I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, so they're still paying really well for food. Fantastic. And eh, they're paying okay for grab bikes. We'll take them. Their prices are not very good here. But I'm guessing that these neural stems or actually the medicines are going to be pretty high in demand at the next place we go to. So let's buy them all. And then we've got an... Let's see. Is that an alien? Yeah. And then we've got a smuggler of some sort. So we get rid of those life pods and they give us money. Uh, certainly can't afford a ship by any means yet. It'd be a nice ship. It's got a couple of different hard points. So two small turrets on there and two missiles. So wonder what his cargo is like. Let's look. 25, so it's not much of a not much of a trader, which is what we're looking for. Alright, let's get out of here and let's go look for some some area with some sickness to it. Uh, let's get the heck out of here, first of all. Liberty, Skyark. I don't see any major virus areas. Xeno outbreak trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go down to Drybone. That's the best way to get there from here. Probably go through Haven. So, I mean, that's the extent of it. You trade, you can shoot, you can pirate. Take things back to stations. But the cool thing is, is this dynamic sort of deal where, like, right now, as you can see, I'm jumping towards a place that's got an outbreak with medicine in my cargo hold. And I'm even actually going to check here to see if there's anything else that I can take to that, <coughs> that spot. Because ideally, you want to uh, make the most money per run. And this is a neat spot. Haven, when you pull up here, you see they have a cool billboard really cool looking planet, so it's going to cost us 250 to land here, and we'll, we'll pay that. Let's see what they've got. They do have some slaves. Playthings. They're plastic, apparently. They're not really all that well priced, honestly. They're usually priced better. I will take 10 in case we go to like a mining colony. Oh. Do they only have three? I don't understand. Oh no, I have 37 in my car to hold. Never mind. Can't buy anything. Three would be pointless. Let's just go. I was hoping there were some medical supplies or something. There were not. Okay, dry bone. That's where we're going. It's really neat. I mean, it's um, atmospheric. It's fun for a 2D space game. Uh, controls are pretty fluid. You kind of got to get used to, you know, floating around space a little bit. But all right. So let's go down to the dry bomb. See if we can't uh, sell some medicine. Since they're going through an outbreak, and hope we don't catch anything. And I'm just guessing that medicine's what they need for that sort of thing. Mm. 
Okay. So we've landed here. And yeah, they're paying pretty well for the medicine. We're up to 11,000. 91.75. Yeah, the spice seems pretty good. Um, is it spice illegal in some places? Let's see, an after the crank. Subs and food flavors. No, no, doesn't look legal at all. Spend half of our watt on that. Um, let's see. Food shortages. Okay, well, we could take some spice to sand home. I think that's probably a pretty good idea. Let's go to Skyheart. Skyheart, then Stormgate, then Sand Home. If we take some spice, that should probably pay off. We can see what they're paying for the spice in Skyheart. See if they have any regular food. So at this point, we're not really losing much money, which is good. We're not stopping at too many stations that aren't uh, paying out. These beautiful skyscapes. I love this artwork in the background. Really nice. Yeah, so the landing fee is half in this version compared to the roguelike, which makes it a lot more reasonable to stop at more stations. 30 profit. It's really not that bad on the spice. Let's sell it. The crystals, I mean, that's pretty good. Let's buy them. We can find somewhere to ship those. Uh, on our way out, or maybe yeah, we can go ship them to Sigil, maybe. Let's try that. Unless there's somebody who says they need a war. Well, they should probably need that stuff in a bio facility. doesn't give you any information on the actual board. You just have to know where you want to go. And I know that I want to go to Sigil, which is actually going to be the bottom left-hand corner. It's kind of cool not having a mini-map in this area of the space. I kind of like it. Um, this also has some of the coolest background. Just the spinning, you know, non-nebulized space. It's just crazy. Everybody's just on these traveling lanes. Back it up and we'll jump. And that'll take us to Sigil. And I think right down here at Sigil we should probably have pretty good luck with uh, being able to sell this crystal that we have in our cargo hold is uh, crystals, fuel crystals. Yeah, I'd love to land. Alright, yeah, profit of 78 on the fuel crystals. And it's got us up to 14,000. They're selling implants or stems or medicine. really want any of those. Some better weapons there, actually. That's what I'm using is the Corvette. This is a Solaris frigate. And it's got a cargo hold of 60. That's what we should be working towards. 47,000. We won't be doing that in a half hour. <laughs> that much I can guarantee. I don't know if we should take these neural implants or not. Oh, these are illegal too. I'm not a smuggler. Let's not try that. Oh, 
Oh, we got a quest right out here. You can talk to folks and have some quests with them, and help them sometimes. And need a pilot who can sneak past the pirates and deliver a message to Lonus. It's a very special lady. There's 25k encrypted on the crystal. Plug it in the terminal and base it to yours. Where is Lonus? Where are we talking about here? Lonus. Do you see it anywhere? Do you see it anywhere? You might end up a Lonus, buddy, because I don't see the name Lonus on the map. there. Lawless. Yeah, sure. I'll try. Okay. I need a place. Uh, that place is under siege. No, let's just start jumping back up the other way. That's probably our best bet. Try to get to Lonus. Sneak in there. See what we can do. It's 25,000 if so. That's a good chunk of change. I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not, though. We'll find out. So we're here. And we want to be way up here. We have seven that way, seven that way. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say we probably just go through the stuff we know. See if we can pick up anything here. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have the fuel. It's been kind of a tried and true thing you can deliver just about anywhere, so. Let's make our way up to, or over to Drybone. There's little NPCs chatting and stuff. It's kind of nice. I, I, I must admit, it's a very, very relaxing and interesting game right up until you have all your stuff taken from you or you're blown away <coughs> by pirates. There's something called Zerkers I haven't come across either yet, and people complain about them quite a bit. Oh, crap! I think that may be them. Exotic pets. Are these illegal? Okay, we 
research labs like them too. Awesome. So we need to go to Haven, and then we're going to these areas of nothingness where we just have to jump for a while. So we'll probably just try and go off of this gear at Haven. This is not really a trading mission that we're getting ready to go on. It's more of a smuggling mission. And we might die during it, but we'll find out shortly. We have about four minutes left on our preview video, and I think that's about how long this mission's going to take us to finish up. We don't get involved in Come on, come on. There's nothing but pirates, so they're not going to let me do it. We're going to have to get out of here. We're going to lose our ship. So it looks like we're taking this stuff with us all the way to Lumnus. Gotta go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Alright, now we're in the middle of nowhere. XTO. We go down to XT6. And then up to XT9. Need to hire some mercenaries next time I come out in the middle of nowhere. There we go. Okay, and now we need to go up to XT9 and then to Lonus. Crazy long trip here. Oh, yeah, slowing it down. And then we'll go straight up to Lonus from here. And out here, I'm guessing you can go and Mine asteroids, make money that way. There's a mining module you can put onto your uh, your ship. So that's a pretty neat aspect of it as well. It's, it's a cool game. It comes out tomorrow. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to have you know good information for everyone up you know, before tomorrow on it, if I can. Bad, 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 bad news. Alright, so we've got to get up to this station here, which is all pilot. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be all pirate controlled. But we'll see if we can't get in there and just park. That's the idea here. Yeah, I'm here at the base. This has got to be her, right? Oh, sweet. So we got the credits. <laughs> so you have to raise your reputation to try and get these people to, uh, you know, have anything to do with you, essentially. <clears throat> they sell drugs out here. That's interesting. And firearms. Buying some firearms. It says they're legal. They're half price. Why not? I may not I may not survive because I should not be out here. Don't 
shoot at him. <laughs> Just get away. Oh, there it is. If that missile hits, I'm probably going to die. Get ready to slow down. Hit the button. Oh, I think I'm fucking dead. So I keep my stuff and I keep most of my money and that's the only way you're ever going to get bigger and better and badder I think because every other time I've just died right at that moment where you're getting, you know, right on track, but... Excuse me. Uh, it's a really neat, impressive game. Lots of longevity, lots of replayability. Uh, very, very cool just the way it plays. I think this is one that I'll be playing for a little while, so I'm glad that we found this here, and I'm glad they put it out. Uh, you guys enjoy. I hope you uh, like it. Check out thehiddenlevels.com for all your news and reviews and some more of these previews. Thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you all soon.